Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This time we can see another example of perpetual motion machine. The history of perpetual motion machines dates back to the Middle Ages. For millennia, it was not clear whether perpetual motion devices were possible or not, but the development of modern theories of thermodynamics has shown that they are impossible. Despite this, Many attempts have been made to construct such machines, continuing into modern times. Modern designers and proponents often use other terms, such as overunity, to describe their inventions. There is a scientific consensus that perpetual motion in an isolated system violates either the first law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics, or both. The first law of thermodynamics is a version of the law of conservation of energy. The second law can be phrased in several different ways, the most intuitive of which is that heat flows spontaneously from hotter to colder places. Relevant here is that the law observes that in every macroscopic process, there is friction or something close to it. Another statement is that no heat engine, an engine which produces work while moving heat from a high temperature to a low temperature can be more efficient than a carnet heat engine, operating between the same two temperatures. In other words, in any isolated system, one cannot create new energy. This is the law of conservation of energy. As a result, the thermal efficiency the produced work power divided by the input heating power cannot be greater than 1. The output work power of heat engines is always smaller than the input heating power. The rest of the heat energy supplied is wasted as heat to the ambient surroundings. The thermal efficiency therefore has a maximum, given by the Carnot efficiency, which is always less than 1. The efficiency of real heat engines is even lower than the Carnot efficiency, due to irreversibility arising from the speed of processes, including friction. Statements 2 and 3 apply to heat engines. Other types of engines that convert, for example, mechanical into electromagnetic energy, cannot operate with 100% efficiency, because it is impossible to design any system that is free of energy dissipation. Stay tuned on my channel for more interesting videos, such this one. Thank you for watching.